So today we are going to discuss about the flow. Here uh, I have divided the uh, interview question and answers into three steps, basically uh, three videos, about 10, 10 questions uh, on each videos. And then uh, 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 you are able to give the answers on the flows if anyone will ask. Okay, because the way the interviewer will ask the question uh, just is to mold and ask the questions. Okay, so let's start the questions and uh, We'll let you know. So first question is basically what is flow? What is flow in Salesforce? So basically uh, it is an automated process that runs as a as, as, as a result of an event. Okay, means flow can be triggered so when you will perform any DML operation or you are uh, interacting with the user at that moment your flow will be occurs okay so in backend I will tell you what all things we can perform so we'll come to know later on this one now what is a flow builder in Salesforce so flow flow builder is a point and click tool that helps you easily create automated process basically here is a tool like you can drag and drop so suppose you have to uh, create a record or update a record or you have to create some decisions based on some records or record type so on that basis uh, whatever you will do these things so it will be on the flow builder I will I will explain you later on this one and the third most important questions question is this when do you think that it's best to use flow builder over the workflow process builder or a uh, trigger see now the beauty of the Salesforce is configuration not customization now we are going to replace workflow and process builder but trigger is there okay but how means I, I have written here one uh, example here so if you have to work with the triggers right you have to uh, write a lot of things but uh, here we can do via a flow once before update after update, whatever the performance you perform whatever action you want to perform you can do it okay so uh, slowly slowly will come to on this one okay but on high level i can say that uh, once from a flow you can perform all the activities which you are able to perform in process builder and workflow that's why they are going to replace but trigger is somehow it is still a crucial thing that uh, well, flow cannot replace it completely okay but yes most of the things which we are covered we are able to cover in flow we are doing that so here again how does the lightning flow designer differ from classic flow designer okay so classic flow is a uh, outdated uh, now but if you will see with the uh, lightning flow builder you will come to know it is more fast most reliable as well as it is easy to use right so you can make a decision uh, right uh, uh, when you are working in that so it is pretty fast as compared to classic and uh, well look and feel is much better in lightning flow as compared to the classic flow so what now next question what are some of most common reason for using flow in your project see well I have mentioned here three or four reasons, two or three reasons you can go through that but well I will tell you one thing flow is a very uh, you can say a heart of the Salesforce now because it will provided you the guided flow based on your transaction you can perform any DML operation like create, update, delete, or, or, or parent to child, child to parent, whatever updation you want to do, you can perform anything. Trigger a mail. Okay, so it will give you a lot of parameters to perform in the flow. So, well, I am using a lot of things in a flow. I'm tr means you can say like means it's a it's a it's a uh, means around 500 users we have, but we are using almost 60 to 65 percent flow instead of the trigger. And by mistakely, I have paste the same question here on six. Please skip this one. So, does every record that enters a flow get processed by event element in the flow? No, 
it is not true this has been asked many time with many people okay so this is not true okay so every record that enters a flow does not get processed by every element in the flow it's not true okay so they will ask the round about the question why so the main reason is so whatever you want to perform right you, you will apply for that you will not apply for all the elements okay but i will tell you the example as well in coming series of this flow so how can next question is how can you implement decision making and branching within a flow that's true okay so you can use a decision making so uh, means based on some condition right you are using some boolean values true false so based on that condition you want to take some act okay so if uh, age is greater than uh, 21 then you are eligible to give the vote so that kind of a uh, flow you can create a decision right but when you are going to save the record suppose you are saving the record of one man and now the age is if age is more than 18 then he should get a um, email notification that yes you are eligible for the vote so those kind of bifurcation you can do from the decision making now what nine is what type of loops can you define in a flow okay basically there are three type of loops okay that is sequential parallel and batches simple the first one the type of loop will execute all action okay action in the loop one after the other okay but whereas parallel you what is it all means all action at the same time okay the batch means the type of loop will execute certain number of action in a loop at the same time and then wait for those action to be completed completed before execute the next batch so basically sequential means what by a sequence simple okay one will complete then another will come now parallel all the uh, loop will run at same time batches means so when the first batch will finish then the, then the other will be in queue then second batch will come okay so so for the initial i am sharing uh, this ppt or uh, drop me a mail if you want this ppt because i am going to share is uh, of this flow of interview question so initial level i want to tell you so if you want to go to the flow so in setup you can simply type like flow and you will get a flow here and trust me it is very easy to use once you will become a handy okay so it's a new flow so here these all are the flows okay it is just a guided flow this is based on some dml operation this is we can schedule it it's a platform event okay when there will be an object you are going to uh, subscribe that and then you are able to get it so i will i will show you how we can do that it's a auto launch okay just basically it is for to process or rest api so those kind of thing and it's a orchestration okay this six type and slowly slowly we will go with each type now i am going this is about the flow and here you can see flow trigger explorer so here based on the object what when you want to perform so suppose it's a you can choose any object suppose account when account is created or updated or deleted so at which look which at, at which position you want to introduce your flow so you can create that flow okay so this is a very cool thing to that that salesforce has introduced okay but for time being just understand this one and i will come up with the uh, flow next series which will cover some tough questions over the flow thank you please subscribe the channel and if you want this uh, ppt let me know so uh, just drop me your email id i will forward this ppt to you all okay thank you thank you